Okay, so this is part four of lecture five, and we're going to watch the four videos that I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> this short video is an example of eliciting a conversational sample from a school-aged child. Okay, so we're here with Connor. Date of birth, 11-21-2002, date of elicitation, 12-20-2010. All right, well, I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about holidays. Christmas is coming up. Um, what do you think you might do for Christmas? Um, yeah, pretty much except wrapping and wrapping the presents. Wrapping and um, wrapping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, usually what I do on Christmas Eve is find it all from the shelf. Mm -hmm. And you can see right now he's in the middle of the table. <laughs> Elf in the sh on the shelf. Yeah. What is now? I don't know much about that. What is he's that? He's magic. Mm -hmm. My camera gave me it. Him. Mm -hmm. He's not like the uh, appearance thing where they hide it like every night. Mm -hmm. They they say it's proof in the in the form that's magic. Mm -hmm. So so the first. I guess the first person who found it gave it to Santa and made it. What do you want for Christmas? Um, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Hmm. Can't remember quite You can't remember now. Um, what they wanted to like this radio watch, like the one set. That, that have the Wally talkies on them, and you have another one, mm -hmm. and then you can talk to each other. And it's on a watch. Not too often. So what are some other fun things you do in second grade? Um, not a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> Except mostly parties or whatever. Not so much fun stuff. Uh-huh. Math. Math, math. Math. Lots of math, math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That gets a lot of data in my brain. Mm -hmm. Too much. Like my brain explodes. Because <laughs> she sits on the bears instead of like cuddles with them. She mm -hmm. sits on them because she's really small. and yeah. Your teacher sits on your bear? Oh, no, she, she needs to be much more taller so the kids can see her. So uh -huh. she sits on the bears to give her. Oh, to make her taller. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it squishes your bear. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, neat. All right. Well, thanks for talking. That was neat to hear about Christmas yeah. and stuff going on. Very cool. Very cool. This short video is an example of eliciting a narrative retell sample of the book Frog, Where Are You? We are here today with Callie and Callie's birthday is October 26, 2005, and today is December 20th, 2010. And how old are you? Five. Five years old. Oh, wow, that's a fun age. But not five and a half. But not five and a half yet. All right, so what we're going to do today, I would like to find out how you tell stories. First, I'm going to tell you a story while we follow along in this book. And when I have finished telling you the story, it will be your turn to tell the same story using the same book. Okay, so I'm going to tell the story first. This is called Frog, Where Are You? by Marshall Okay. Mm -hmm. You see the pictures okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Once there was a boy who had a dog and a pet frog. He kept the frog in a large jar in his bedroom. One night, while he and the dog were sleeping, the dog climbed out of the jar. He jumped out of an open window. The boy and the dog were happy to have a new pet frog to take home. As they walked away, the boy waved and said goodbye to his old frog and his family. The end. Okay. It's kind of a long story, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I would like you to tell a story using your own words to the best that you can. And now you use the pictures. Tell me the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy that had a frog. 
Willie was sleeping the bed down over the drum. Willie took out the window to see if he was okay. The jar was okay, but the jar broke. Broke. Nice work. The frog, the boy called out for the frog, so did the dog. The dog won't get that a bit. Well, well, the boy called into the hole. The boy looked in the hole and, and, and peered into it. An owl jumped out and pushed him off, off the stick. Well, 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 he got pushed off the bees for chasing the dog. <laughs> He cleaned up the leaves and called her. He put on an suit and some branch, branches to keep them on. But those weren't branches, they were really deer, deer, deer antlers. He ran to a, a cliff, cliff and he jumped the boy off. He landed in a pond. He saw the log and he said, and he heard a familiar sound. He peered over the log, and there were the frogs. And they had baby frogs. Another frog liked the boy, so, so he used him as a new The end. Oh, nice work. Good job. I enjoyed hearing your story. Great. Child. I'm interested in finding out how well you do at giving explanations, okay? I'm going to make a recording so I can remember what you say. And if you want, you can listen back to the recording when I'm done, okay? I want you to imagine that I'm a student about your age, okay? I'm visiting the United States from another country, and I want to learn as much as I can about life in the United States. You can help me by explaining how to play your favorite sport or game. You have lots of choices. For example, you could pick a sport such as basketball or tennis or soccer, or you could pick a board game like Monopoly or chess or Clue, or you could pick a card game such as poker or rummy. What sport or game do you like the best that you'd like to choose? Hmm. Can it be like not my favorite because I do a lot of sports, but mm -hmm. can it be like one that I think is really cool that I do? Mm -hmm. Um. I do wrestling, okay. which I think it takes a lot of um, balance and like physical um, getting fit and stuff. Yeah. And you have to be really flexible to do stuff. Okay. I think that's really interesting. Okay, great. So assume that in my country we don't know anything about wrestling, and I'd like you to explain everything you'd need to know so I could learn to play. So I'm going to expect you to talk for at least five minutes. That's why the clock's here. And to help you organize your thought, here's a list of topics. And I'd like you to talk about those. Great. Um, please take the next few minutes to plan your explanation by taking notes in the blank spaces. And don't waste time writing whole sentences. Just write some key words to remind you of what you want to say. You can talk about the topics in order, or you can renumber them and put them okay. in a different order. That's good. And you can, if you don't want to take notes, you could use the backside to draw a diagram or make a graphic organizer. Okay. Sounds good. Have any questions? No. Okay, no. take as long as you want to write that up. And um, let me know when you're ready. Okay. 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 I think I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just set this for five minutes so you get an idea of, you know, how long you need to talk. All right. And... You can, um, I'm ready to turn on the recorder. You're going to be doing all the talking. I'm just going to listen to what you have to say. Okay. Take as much time as you need to make a complete explanation. And remember, try and make it for as much time as you can. All right? Sounds good. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about wrestling. No one's ever done wrestling before. All right, then. I got this. Okay. So, um... Pretty much what wrestling is, is that it's like um, two people in, on a mat with, there's one big circle where you have your hands on their elbow, um, on their stomach, and you have one knee up and one knee down. Okay. And then 
he'll um say wrestle and then the object of the but you game get it for three seconds so they count how many of your seconds you got as points mm -hmm. and then so then there's lots of people who keep score so there's normally like two people keeping score and one referee and you they have um timers there and they time and they have the scoreboard in there, which means that you have to let the person pick because oh. you don't want you don't know so that's what i have great job wow so, i really yeah. understand that that was very This short video demonstrates how to elicit samples following the SALT protocol for persuasion language sampling. Hi. How are you? Just great. Awesome. So today I want to find out how well you can persuade. That's when you talk people into changing their mind and get them to do something you want. I'm going to make a recording. If you want, you can listen to it when we're finished. So I'd like you to pick a rule or situation you'd like to see changed in your school, your job, or your community. So imagine that I'm a person who has the power to make the change that you want to see happen. And here are a few examples. So pretend I'm the principal of your school and you want to persuade me pro to provide money for a special event. Or pretend I'm your boss and you want to persuade me to change your hours or your work schedule. Or pretend I'm a government official and you want me to change the age young people can buy alcohol or drive a car. So you're going to need to talk for a few minutes and be sure you pick a topic that you care about. And here is a list um, that you can use to pick from, or you can choose one of your own. So you can read that over and decide if anything sparks you. You picked a topic? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jack, who will you be trying to persuade? My boss. Your boss. Okay. So I'd like you to talk to me as though I'm your boss and tell me everything you can to persuade me. To do your best job, you'll need to organize your thoughts. And this is a list of points that I'd like you to talk about. Um, take the next few minutes to plan by taking notes in the blank spaces. And... You don't have to write full sentences, just jot down key words to remind you of what you want to say. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, when I turn on this recorder, you'll be doing all the talking. I'm gonna to listen to what you have to say Take as much time as you need to tell me everything you can think of. And it's okay to look at your planning sheet and remind yourself of what you want to say. Also, you can feel free to add to what you've written. And I will expect you to talk for several minutes, as long as you can. Is there anything that you have any questions about? Mm -hmm. Quit. All right. Okay, hi, boss. Um, I just wanted to come in to talk to you to discuss the hours that I've been working. Um, I noticed you've scheduled me a lot during the week, especially right after my hockey practice. And all I'm looking for is just less hours during the week and more on the weekends because, as I said, um, the hours would really be nice for me with my school and my sports. Um, That's all you have? Mm -hmm. That's funny. That's an excellent yeah. persuasion, Jack. I appreciate it. Hi. Okay. So you've watched the four videos. <clears throat> so I'd ask you to uh, write your responses to these in the forum and begin the conversation related to language sample analysis and, uh, and what you saw. I want to just uh, highlight a case study. This is Henry, nine years old, uh, with ADHD, a nonverbal IQ score above average, uh, and um, a good assessment battery uh, was used, including test of pragmatic language too, 
and uh, that resulted in a standard score of 100. And 